Consider the following statement. For all basketball player X, X is tall. Which of the following are equivalent ways of expressing the statement? So I think understanding this question requires you to see the answer first, and that way you can know how to structure your English phrases. So this is all just semantics and not really a math question. Let's start with part A. Every basketball player is tall. That is exactly what this says. For all basketball players X, meaning for every single basketball player, that basketball player X is tall. So yes, part A is an equivalent way of expressing the statement. Part B, among all the basketball players, some are tall. So part B is an existential claim. Some of the basketball players are tall. That's not equivalent to saying all basketball players are tall. For part C, some of all the tall people are basketball players. Now, whenever you see some of all, that just means some. So this really says some of the tall people are basketball players. And for the same reason why B was not equivalent, C is also not equivalent to this statement. Part D, anyone who is tall is a basketball player. This is not equivalent to the original statement because the quantification of the original statement is on the basketball players, not people who are tall. So the original statement makes a claim about basketball players, not a claim about tall people, whereas part D makes a claim about tall people rather than making claims about basketball players. So the quantification is backwards on part D. For part E, all people who are basketball players are tall. That's the same thing as part A, and it's the same thing as the original statement. So yeah, that's equivalent to expressing the statement. For part F, anyone who is a basketball player is a tall person. That is also equivalent to the original statement. And again, it's easier to see in hindsight that A, E, and F are all equivalent ways of expressing the statement. Again, more of a semantical question, but it's easier to understand the semantics after you see the answer. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.